I don't say this often, but I don't think I've come across a cooler consumer tech product in years. It's sleek, subtle, and smart enough to literally save lives. Now, imagine waking up one morning feeling fine. Nothing seems off. But your ring? It knows better. It's tracking your body temperature, heart rate, and recovery. And suddenly, it's flashing warning signs. Something's wrong. That's exactly what happened to one guy on TikTok. His aura ring flagged critical health changes, pushing him to go see a doctor. I think this ring might have saved my life yesterday. Let me explain. I still had some soreness in my lower right abdomen, but what caught me off guard is a symptom radar that had major signs that something was wrong in my body. Then I finally did a CT scan and looking at the CT scan, they could see my appendix was extremely enlarged. Luckily it hadn't burst yet, but I was gonna have to do an emergency surgery. So they prepped me for surgery, they got me in, everything went really well, and today I have three new incision scars. If he had ignored these signs, things could have ended up way worse. And that's what makes this thing so fascinating. It's not just another wearable or glorified step tracker. It's a personal health guardian that passively watches over you, analyzing patterns, spotting problems before you even feel them, and helping you optimize your health in ways that no smartwatch can. Today, we're diving deep into the Aura Ring, how it works, why it's blowing up, and where it's headed next. Because if this is the future of personal health tech, it's one hell of a game changer. Let's get into it. Now, I should mention, I've had an Apple Watch for about four years now, and I really like it. I wear it on my runs, I track my heart rate, and it does a really good job of keeping me in the right training zones. But here's the thing. While my Apple Watch is great for tracking workouts, it doesn't really do too much when it comes to recovery. Sure, it'll show me my heart rate and calorie burn, but it doesn't really tell me how my body is actually handling the stress of training. It's not giving me deep insights into whether I should push harder or take a rest day. And it's not really helping me understand my sleep, my stress levels, or how my body is adapting over time. And that's really where the Aura Ring comes in. At its core, the Aura Ring is a high-tech health tracker, but what makes it unique is the way it prioritizes recovery and readiness over simple step counting or calorie tracking. And unlike a smartwatch that can bombard you with notifications and distractions, Aura is designed to be passive, working in the background, silently collecting data, and giving you personalized insights over time. And the magic happens through its ring's advanced sensors. Inside this small, lightweight band are infrared LEDs, temperature sensors, an accelerometer, and a gyroscope, all working together to measure key biometrics. Now, it tracks things like heart rate, heart rate variability, body temperature, blood oxygen levels, and even how much you move in your sleep. And because it sits on your finger rather than on your wrist, the data it collects is actually more accurate. Your fingers have stronger blood flow than your wrist, which allows Aura to pick up more precise signals. But the real game changer is Aura's readiness score. Every morning, the Aura app gives you a single number that tells you how well your body has recovered overnight and how prepared you are to take on the day. It's based on multiple different factors, including your sleep quality, resting heart rate, body temperature trends, and HRV. If your readiness score is high, it means your body is well recovered and primed for physical or mental exertion. Now, if it's low, it might be a sign that you might need to take it easy, prioritize rest, or even pay attention to early signs of illness. I knew that I had cancer before I was diagnosed because of my aura ring. Yeah, okay, so let's get into this. Started having night sweats, was super fatigued. I knew something was wrong, but I couldn't figure out exactly what it was, so I kind of ignored it. But every day, my aura ring, on my app would look like this. I had major signs almost every single day. My readiness score was always like 30s, 40s. And then you can see here when I started having the night sweats and fevers and everything, like my temp was spiking as high as like 2.7 above my baseline. This is just another example of what I would see on the app like almost every day. My body temp and resting heart rate are elevated. How are you feeling? Not very good. <laughs> And this is where the Aura Ring stands out, apart from traditional fitness trackers. Now, while most wearables focus on how much you're doing, like how many steps you've taken in a day, how many calories you've burned, 
Aura flips the script. It focuses on how well you're recovering. Performance isn't just about pushing harder. It's about knowing when to rest, when to train, and when to adjust your habits to optimize long-term health. Now, most people think they sleep just fine until they start tracking it. Aura takes sleep monitoring to another level, breaking down not just how long you slept, but how well you slept. The ring analyzes sleep stages, light sleep, deep sleep, REM sleep, and scores your overall sleep quality based on efficiency, latency, like how long it takes you to fall asleep, and disturbances. And why does this all matter? Because sleep isn't just about duration. It's about the quality of rest your body gets. If you get eight hours of sleep, but you barely get any deep sleep, you'll often likely wake up feeling groggy. Aura helps users understand why they feel exhausted, even after what they thought was a full night rest. The ring also tracks nighttime heart rate and body temperature, which can flag underlying issues like stress, poor recovery, or even early signs of illness. Users have even reported discovering sleep apnea symptoms thanks to Aura's insights. And here's something interesting. Just wearing a health tracker can change your behavior. This is known as the Hawthorne effect. When people know that they're being observed, they subconsciously adjust their actions. What if I told you that this ring right here is a reason I almost completely cut out drinking from my life? This is not an ad or sponsored in any way. I paid for this, but this is the Aura ring and it truly has made me so much more healthy and motivated to want to be healthier. Aura users often report that after seeing some of their sleep and recovery data, they naturally start making better choices. Things like going to bed earlier, drinking less alcohol, reducing screen time before bed, or paying a closer attention to their stress levels. Now that we've covered the product, let's take a look at how Aura is performing as a business. It wasn't always the health tech powerhouse that it is today. Now, the company was founded in Finland in 2013 and launched its first product in 2016. The early versions of the ring were impressive, but they weren't widely known outside of the niche health and biohacking circles. The real breakthroughs came in 2020 during the pandemic. With people hyper-focused on their health, sleep, and overall wellness, Aura found itself in the perfect position to go mainstream. At the height of COVID-19, Aura's body temperature tracking feature became a major selling point. Some users reported that the ring detected early signs of illness before they even felt symptoms, giving them a head start on seeking medical care. This wasn't just anecdotal. Aura partnered with institutions like UCSF and the NBA to conduct research on how wearable technology could be used to detect illnesses early. These partnerships gave Aura credibility in a market crowded with fitness gadgets and wellness gimmicks. And as the company grew, so did its valuation. Aura has raised over 350 million in funding and its valuation has soared to over 5.2 billion. But one of the smartest business moves was a pivot to a subscription model. Originally, the ring was a one-time purchase with users paying anywhere from $300 to 550, depending on the model. But in 2021, Aura introduced a $6 per month subscription fee to unlock full access to its insights and data. Now, the move was controversial at first, as people weren't really thrilled about paying a recurring fee for a device that they already owned. But from a business perspective, it was a genius move. It turned Aura from a hardware company into a long-term data-driven health service, ensuring a steady stream of recurring revenue. But of course, no company operates in a vacuum. And Aura is up against some serious competition. Apple, Samsung, Fitbit, Whoop, and even Garmin are all in the wearable space, constantly improving their technology and expanding their health tracking capabilities. Now, as we all know, Apple is a major player with its Apple Watch, offering features like ECG monitoring, blood oxygen tracking, and even fall detection. So why would anyone wanna choose Aura over an Apple Watch or Fitbit? Well, for starters, Aura is discreet. Some people don't want to wear a bulky smartwatch 24-7. The ring is sleek, comfortable, and doesn't scream tech gadget. And it also has a longer battery life, lasting up to seven days on a single charge compared to the daily charging required for most smartwatches. But perhaps most importantly, Aura's deep focus on recovery and readiness gives it a unique edge. While other wearables track workouts and activity, Aura is designed for people who want to optimize their long-term health not just count steps. Now, if there's one direct competitor giving Aura a real run for its money, it's the Ultra Human Ring Air. 
It offers similar sleep and recovery tracking, but leans even harder into metabolic health. It's also a bit lighter and claims to have more durable materials. But here's the kicker, no subscription fee. That alone makes it an attractive alternative for people who don't love Aura's $6 a month membership. And while Aura still leads in brand recognition and data accuracy, Ultra Human is proving that the smart ring space isn't just a one player game anymore. Aura has already mastered sleep tracking and recovery insights. So what's next? One direction is mental health. Stress and anxiety tracking is a growing focus in wearables, and Aura has already hinted at expanding its capabilities in this area. By analyzing heart rate variability, temperature trends, and sleep quality, future trends of Aura could provide deeper insights into mental well being. Aura could even expand into more personalized coaching. Right now, the ring provides data, but imagine if it could give actionable AI driven recommendations, such as suggesting optimal workout times, the best moments for deep focus work, or even predicting when you're most creative based on sleep patterns. Lastly, there's a question of form factor. Could Aura go beyond rings, like a smart pendant or a sleek bracelet? The company has built a strong foundation, and the next phase will be about pushing the boundaries of what wearable health tech can do. Wearable health tech isn't just about tracking steps or sleep. It's about shifting healthcare from reactive to proactive. Historically, we've treated health problems only after they've become serious. But what if we could catch issues before they escalate? That's exactly what Aura and other wearables are heading to. Imagine a future where your doctor doesn't just rely on occasional checkups, but has real-time data from your wearable, allowing them to detect trends and intervene early. Now, Aura is already moving towards this direction, partnering with researchers and health institutions to explore how wearable data can predict conditions like heart disease, stress-related illnesses, and even mental health trends. There's even more speculation that insurance companies might offer discounts to users who wear health tracking devices, similar to how car insurance companies offer low rates for safe drivers who use telemedics. This raises ethical questions. Should companies have access to personal health data? Where do we draw the line between personalization and privacy? As Aura continues to evolve, it will have to navigate these challenges while staying true to its mission, giving people control over the health through better data. At the end of the day, Aura isn't just another fitness tracker. It's a glimpse into the future of personal health, where wearables don't just track your activity, but actively help you prevent illness, optimize recovery, and make smarter health decisions. So would you want to wear an Aura ring? Or are you sticking with a classic smartwatch? Let me know in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the future of tech. I'll see you in the next one.